On trains, the expression emergency brake has several meanings. The emergency brake applies considerably more braking force than the standard full service brake. The engine driver or motorman will only use the emergency brake as a last resort. Since it may cause damage, even with modern wheel slide protection, a train may develop wheel flats, and the rails themselves can suffer profile damage. Putting the engine driver's brake handle into the emergency position may also. Trains often have a facility in each car to enable passengers to apply the brakes in case of emergency. In many modern trains, the driver is able to prevent brake activation when a passenger operates the emergency alarm, an audible warning is sounded, and the driver is then able to talk to the person who activated the alarm on the intercom and see them on an internal CCTV. The driver can press an override button and hold the brakes off whilst they choose a safe place to stop the train, because of possible serious problems. Severe fines and or imprisonment penalties are in place to deter people from activating the brake without good reason. The alarm chain in a passenger coach is designed to create a break in the continuity of the brake pipes, immediately resulting in a loss of brake pressure and thereby causing the train brakes to be applied. With vacuum brakes, a clappet valve is provided, which is released by the pulling of the alarm chain. With air brakes, there is a similar passenger emergency valve which can vent the brake pipe to the air. In most locomotives of deliberately ignoring an indication of alarm chain pulling is a serious matter. In recent years locomotives have been fitted with emergency flashes on the roof of the cab. And these flashes are also activated when the brake pipe pressure is lost for any reason other than the driver's application of the brake valve. This alerts drivers of oncoming trains of the possibility of a derailed or parted rake which may foul other tracks. At the locomotive, it is not possible to tell whether the loss of brake pressure is due to the pulling of the alarm chain ACP to find out in which coach the ACP actually occurred. When the coach is isolated, the lever needs to be manually reset. Until this is done, the lamp and buzzer in the locomotive cab are continuously activated. A circuit breaker controls the lamp and alarm bell in the locomotive cab. In cases where defective equipment causes the lamp and bell to go off, the driver can disable them by placing the MCB in the off position. Despite the obvious safety hazards, Sometimes this is resorted to by drivers when driving trains through sections where spurious ACP incidents are very common. The Regaling BOO9 BU Rev 3.1 defines a set of nested state machines in the chapter, Unledge 1. Faison Aina Zagfahati, reflecting a very wide range of use cases, including platforms, tunnels, ETC, and is applicable for subways, trams, metros as it implements appropriate actions for all use cases occurring in rail transportation. These state machines represents the state of the art in Germany. It is highly recommended to be implemented or retrofitted to avoid the problems experienced at the S-Bahn Rhein-Neckar. In Germany, passenger vehicles must have easily visible and reachable emergency brake handles. It is allowed that the emergency brake can be reset. On S-Bahn vehicles it's allowed to only result in a display when used outside of platforms. The implementation of the S-Bahn's emergency brake however does currently not reflect the state of the art in Germany. It has failed in practical use at least in one instance 2015. As a driver lost consciousness completely, but still accidentally triggered the vigilance device. Unlike the system BU 2004, which is used in conventional trains, the brake was not activated because it is only an indicator light and a sound. While the train is running on the track, without ATP enabled or over speed, the described incident may have been leading to fatalities and substantial damage. As the passengers noticed the unconscious driver, but could not stop the train by pulling the emergency brake handle. Using the BU 2004, as used in regional and long-distance trains, this would have been prevented. A. Override. Response is needed. Typically the who, position of the automatic brake lever. Otherwise the train's brake computer will perform an emergency brake after 10 seconds. 
Equipment for this override is necessary in tunnels above 1000 meters. For regional trains, UIC 541 to 5 is not sufficient since 2011. Long distance trains must at least be equipped with UIC 541 to 5. The sections where not to stop are marked with yellow bars on the kilometer signs. Regional trains, except Moose, are usually equipped with Boo 2004, which results in a display and a break a few seconds later if the train driver doesn't respond. For DB Regia, the rules for the staff are given in RIL 494. Long distance trains are mostly equipped with system DB, which you